was referred to me two weeks after surgery where the surgeon had put the lens in the bag ex after posterior capsule tear expecting that it would probably be secure but it did uh, sublux into the vitreous. So what we're doing now is capturing the haptic optic junction. There is vitreous presenting there through the opening in the posterior capsule which has to be removed and my fear was if we try to do vitrectomy we'll just lose that lens into the vitreous. So we're we caught it with the uh, a spatula here. Now I'm threading Proline suture on a straight needle through so that I can use both hands for the vitrectomy. Fortunately, with this design of lens, this held the lens while vitrectomy was done. I've tried this technique once since with a three piece lens, but in that case, the lens rolled right off of the, rotated right off of the fixation device, so <clears throat> it seems to work for the one piece, but not the three piece. So now that we've done the vitrectomy, we're going to pull that through so we still have the suture through which can be pulled out and we have a spatula under the lens and one on top and we're pulling the optic up through the opening in the anterior capsule for reverse rexus fixation, reverse optic capture. With the pupil constricting as it is, you see there, it, it's also captured by the iris. So we have the lens captured by the CCC and the pupil. The haptics are still in the posterior to the anterior capsule and maybe posterior to the entire capsule on one edge. So now what we have to do is to release the iris capture while maintaining the optic capture of the capsule. just with a sweeping motion we're releasing the pupil capture. You can see the optic capture with the capsule with the CCC is maintained. Extra paracentesis was necessary to have the right fulcrum for this movement. There's the suture being removed. And again, the object is capsule fixation by whichever means we can. In this case, by the CCC with the haptics behind the CCC for reverse rexus fixation, reverse anterior capsule fixation.
Now it looks like the iris is completely free of capsule. Final vitrectomy check and removal of the cohesive viscoelastic. And a check to make sure there's no vitreous strands. I like intraoperative gonioscopy for anterior chamber lenses always and here just to reconfirm there's no vitreous strands. Here's the one day post-op showing the optic capture of by the CCC.